Hey everyone, over the years from making geometry node modifiers, I've had a single question come back to me time and time again. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to make a standalone video on how to install geometry node modifiers that you've purchased or downloaded online. So there's a few methods. The best method is to add it to an asset library. So let's just say I've downloaded the dot blend file and I have a directory. So this my geometry nodes is the asset library I'm going to add this to and you can organize it with folders however you want. Here I have just copy and pasted decalify into this um, directory. So we can open up any of these files here. So let's just open up decalify here. And first thing to notice is that these nodes are marked as assets. So in every one of these files, if I just open up another one here, let's just say pipe gen, interface is jumping around a little bit, but you can see that that is an asset. You've got little books next to it. And if it's tagged as an asset, then it will be available to add to an asset library. So let's just come back to decalify. And I've got the asset browser open here and I will create a new catalog so you could just leave it just like this and not create catalogs but if you want to organize it better you can add a little catalog here and we'll just call this um, Hodgson 3D and you can drag and drop this into that catalog and save the file so now when you browse to the asset library, if we come to our preferences here, you can set your asset libraries under this directory. So you've got my geometry nodes, which is the same directory that these are living in, my geometry nodes, and I've just linked that folder here. And so you'll be able to see this under the little drop down menu here. Now, what's kind of annoying about the vanilla asset library or asset browser I should say is that I can't because wrap gen and pipe gen and these other modifiers live in different files I have to open up each file individually to drag and drop them into the catalog which is quite annoying if you've got you know 50 different blend files you sh there should be a way of organizing this from a single window or a single file without having to manually open them constantly and thankfully there is a extension for this uh, it's called bulk asset tools which is available on the uh, the blender extension platform and this is in my opinion a must-have and the reason is because i can without having to open up each of these blend files and drag and drop them into this catalog i can just click them whichever ones i want to add right click and then it will give you this little asset mover here and I can add that to whatever catalog I want and behind the scenes it'll open up those blend files and add them to that catalog and I'll just save this file again so now you can see we have these available so what I can do now is I can just drag and drop these modifiers onto an object so let's just drag and drop to Calify. And now we have that modifier attached to that particular object. It's also worth mentioning that if you have modifiers in a uh, an asset library, you can also add them to the geometry nodes editor as well. So for my tools, I don't build them with the intention of needing the editor because I like to just have them in the modifier here. but it's good to know that you can also shift a D and we can search for decalify for example and we can add that node group here so we can add the modifier under the editor or we can add the modifier on the object level which is how I like to build my tools here exposing the interface for the user great the last method is to directly append them so let's just open up another scene here <clears throat> and we'll just change this to the blend file and just to show what's in the scene already so we already have modifiers in the scene I'll just get rid of them 
and we can append them directly. This is one I don't recommend because it means you have to append them every time you start a new scene, which is a little annoying. So let's just copy and paste this directory here. And we'll click on Decalify. And under the node tree, <clears throat> and if you don't see the node tree folder, you can enable them here. So this is what will expose or what will be visible in the file browser here. So node tree is ticked on. And if I open that up, we can see that contained within that file is decalify. So we can click on decalify and that will bring that into our scene here. So now we have access to it and we can just search for it directly in the modifier. So we'll just apply it to this object here. We can search decalify that applies decalify to the object. Or we can create a new geometry nodes modifier and we can browse to it under the, uh, the drop down menu here. So those are the three ways that you can use or import custom geometry node modifiers into your scenes. So I hope that clears things up for some people who have had a bit of confusion around this. If you have any questions or queries, shoot me a message online and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, see you guys later.